Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 16-bit edition. So you've seen my unboxing of the Farming Simulator 25 Collector's Edition and within the Collector's Edition is a fun little 16-bit Farming Simulator game and today we're going to give that a little bit of a spin, a little retro nostalgia if you will. And when I grew up I was a Sega Genesis person so this is right up my alley and I could see this being a 16-bit Sega Genesis game back in the day for sure. So it comes on disc in the collector's edition. You also get a download code where you can download it if you don't have an optical drive. We are running it off disc because sadly you can't download it until November 12th. But at any rate, when you launch the disc, you're going to come up to this menu screen. Remember back in the day when games had actual physical paper manuals? Well, we get that experience here with the 16-bit edition. We've got our instruction manual here, complete with information that's translated. If we didn't have the three-button D-pad or gamepad, well, this is how it translates for keyboard. You got your up, down, left, right, cursor arrows are your direction buttons. Button A, B, and C are mapped to A, S, and D, and the start button is gonna be enter. I am surely gonna mix all of those up because I've been hitting escape while I've been trying this out, thinking that's the inner key, but nope, that's not going to take me to the menu, at least not in 16-bit edition. This is Sega Genesis controller, so a little nostalgia there for me as well. What do we have to do? Well, we have to cultivate, sow, harvest, transport, and sell. That's the farming cycle after all, so we're going to have a cultivator, we're going to sow, we're going to harvest at some point after our crop is grown, and then we're going to sell our harvest and basically that is it. So let's fire this bad boy up and see what it's about. Oh look at that loading screen. Now we're gonna go full screen once we get in here. So there's our mapping. Switch to vehicle is gonna be D. It's the C key. Cruise control is S and toggling the tool on and off and such is going to be A. Enter is going to be our start menu and our direction is going to be up, down, left, and right. Oh, kind of, kind of a little, uh, mm, what's going on here? So if we go to options, right, we go different <laughs> difficulty levels. If we don't like A, B, and C in that way, we can come here. We have several different control options. We're just going to stick with that. And, well, we know F11 is going to bring this full screen. Let's play. So we start with our John Deere tractor and our cultivator. Here I am hitting W, trying to go forward. And we have various hot spots on the map. That one is to fill up our cedar. We're going to line ourselves up with this field. We're going to hit A. And we're going to hit S to do cruise control. And there we go, folks. We can see our textures changing on the ground. When we get to the end of the row, we're going to turn around and make another pass. Now let's pause real quick. Let's, let's hit enter and go to our menu. We have a map overview. Here's our map. We have a total of six fields on our map. This is the only map we have available. It's not like Farming Simulator 25 where we get three starting maps. We see the location of our tractors. Right now we have three vehicles. The vehicles in this game are permanently attached to implements. You know, I knew somebody back in the day who never unhooked stuff in Farm Sim 17. Every time he bought an implement, he bought a tractor to go with it, and that was never it. And that was never changed after that. You can see where our garage is located to pick up vehicles. We have our gas station, which is going to be ever important here in a moment. We have our grain selling stations and where we can purchase seed and, of course, again, our vehicles. Like I said, I'm going to be hitting escape quite often. When you come in here to the garage, we have choices. We can buy vehicles. We have $50,000, but, well, we don't have enough money to buy a tractor and cultivator or tractor and trailer, harvester and header, tractor and cedar, 
or we can come here and change to a different brand, if you will. But we're always gonna be matched up with a tractor and an implement. You can see our garage. Right now, all of our vehicles are outside the garage, but we could, I guess, park vehicles in the garage if we wanted to. Let's go back to the game. And get this thing going. Look at that. Our fuel is already at 91%. Like I said, you better be paying attention to your fuel levels. I don't want to know what it's going to look like if you run out of fuel here. Let me know in the comments. Did you... Did you have a Sega Genesis? Did you have a Super Nintendo? Did you have a regular Nintendo? Did you have a Sega Master System back in the day? Atari? I'm trying to think of other systems that came out. I also had a Sega CD. That was, I think I was in high school at that point. Uh, there was a Neo Geo. That's one I was just thinking about. That was, that was out. That was... That wasn't as popular. I don't think there's many games available for that as they did for, you know, of course, the Nintendos and the Segas. But let me go ahead and finish cultivating this field and we'll move on to the next steps. All right, now that we've cultivated our field, uh, let's go over here. Turn off our cruise control. Turn our implement off and might as well. <clears throat> We're already at 50% fuel. Let's go ahead and fuel up. Now a lot of this is automatic. All we have to do is get in the trigger. And there we are. We're fueling up. Costing us some money. That's some expensive fuel. I'm barely out of the gas station. I'm already down 1% on fuel. What's going on? All right, let's make our way over here to the farm. And now that we've cultivated, let's cycle over to our cedar. And before we hit the field, let's go to this trigger. This is going to let us fill up with seed. There we are. Put A. Turn this bad boy on. And we're planting crop. We'll hit B to <laughs> engage. Cruise control. There was no hired help here. Back in the day, you had to do all this yourself. Like a real farmer. Couldn't just hire a random character off the street and expect him to operate a vehicle properly. So once again, let me get this finished up and we'll see what it takes as far as, uh, well, how long does it take for this crop to grow? Huh. Well, apparently it takes less time to grow the crop than it does to seed the crop. I'm thinking about Farm Sim 17 now for seasons existed the mod this was long before seasonal cycles of course were implemented in the game in fs22 where if you had uh crop growth set to fast you could very theoretically um be still working the field and have your crops grow up to a different growth stage while you're still working in the field because back then 
with growth state set to fast, you could literally plant and plant one day and harvest the very next morning. Um, I typically played with growth set to slow, but I do know some creators that uh, would go for a more realistic type experience and actually turn growth off. They would start seeding a field, they turn growth off beforehand, and then only after they felt enough time passed to have seen growth would they actually turn it back on only to basically have growth happen and then they would turn it back off again. And all of that of course was, was changed with the release of seasons in FS19 or FS17 initially. Seasons was released as FS19 as a mod and then we got seasonal cycles as a full blown feature in FS22. All right, our field is harvested, or not harvested, our field is sown. Let's go and fill this thing back up. It's ready for us next time. And we'll find that harvester and see if we can't harvest yet. Maybe we have to wait for more time to pass. So D. Oh, to our harvester. I mean, it's still green. Maybe, maybe it needs to um, go through another state. Let's turn this thing on and see what happens. All right, nothing's happening. Okay, so we need to wait. So that's what we'll do. We'll just sit here and wait. All right just on a whim it's changed color again and I thought well let's go ahead and just see what happens we're harvesting our crop of something we don't know what grain it was but it's something we're already 10% full on our harvester you see the different colors Hopefully by the time we get over there, that section of the field, it will be ripe and ready to go. I never played Farm Sim 9. That was, if I understand correctly, the original Farm Sim. Or maybe it was Farm Sim 8 was the original, and then 9 came soon after that as an update. I imagine it was far better than this, but from what I understand early in the days, it wasn't much, much further than this from a standpoint of <clears throat> multiple crops. Uh, definitely I don't think there were animals when it first came out. I think it was pretty basic. And look where we are today with the soon pending release of Farming Simulator 25, in my opinion, the most feature rich farm sim released yet. There we go. Now we'll be able to finish this field up. Now there's a trailer here. Let's just see what happens. Uh, let's and we unload product to our trailer. Oh, uh, we are. We just come alongside. Now it looks like the trailer will um, holds the same percent as our harvester. A. There we go. Get this bad boy up to speed. Hit. S or the equivalent of the B key on the old Sega Genesis controller. I'd be curious for folks that actually have controllers if uh, if the collector's edition maps well to a physical controller or not.
Well, let me finish getting this harvested and then we'll decide what we're going to do with our grain. Are we going to dump it in a silo? Or are we going to go sell it? I think we're going to go sell it. Let's get alongside. There we go. Unloaded. Let's hit enter. Let's check the map overview. Uh, where are we going to go to sell this bad boy? All right, so we're on we're on this field right here. So we can go left, right, and then we'll be able to sell right there. Or we can completely turn around and go back. All right, since we're already positioned here, let's go left. Right. And there we are. And we're selling our grain. Oh, we're making lots of money too. What was it like 50 grand for one trailer load? Well, it won't take long to be a, uh, to amass quite a large fortune here in Farming Simulator 16 bit edition. That's it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to the collector's edition in general. Now we've done the <laughs> unboxing on that. And now we've had an opportunity to show you off a little bit of this 16-bit edition. It's pretty cool. It's a little fun. Um, it'll literally run on, on anything. Uh, so you don't need anything special, obviously, to run the 16-bit edition of Farming Simulator. Um, yeah, nice little diversion. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get 50,000 subs before the release of Farming Simulator 25 in just five days. That's right, we're five days away. Tomorrow night, we're going to start our experience live streaming with Farming Simulator 25. So that information will be published a little bit later. But expect the stream to start around our normal streaming time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be here to answer your all's questions show off what you want to see in the game because you have four days to decide if you're still unsure if you want to buy farming simulator 25 or not well it's going to be my job to help you make that decision i'm not going to try to persuade you one way or the other but i do want to show you everything you need to do or know in order to make your own decision until next time happy farming